through golf, it's enabled me to travel more than any human being that's ever lived. I've been traveling now for, you know, just on 57 years. And when you think it's continuously around the world, I mean, a pilot, if he goes for 35, it's exceptional. If he goes for 40, it's unheard of. But 57 years, and I started, I was poor. I didn't worry about money. I wanted to be a winner. I wanted to be the best golfer in the world. I wanted to win the Grand Slam and the regular tour, the senior tour, and win the most tournaments, and travel around the world and beat people in their home countries. I just uh, enjoyed the hard work, and I, and, I, and I look at these two hands, get more golf balls than any man that ever lived. No question. We talk about weight training and exercising. When I first turned professional, it was an absolute no-no to lift weights. And still today, at the age of 75, still do a thousand sit-ups a day, other than when I'm traveling. I've changed my diet uh, absolutely completely. I haven't had an ice cream in five years. I haven't had a piece of bacon in five years. But I've become uh, a 90% vegetarian, and it's like God put his hands on my shoulders and said, I'm gonna give you so much more energy Energy is essential because I'm on the go so much and I'm doing so many, I'm involved in so many different businesses that if I didn't have energy, I'd just fade by the way. There are these little contradictions, but that's life. Life is full of contradictions, but you've got to have the confidence and the passion. My first Masters win in 1961, there are 50,000 people there and one person is pulling for me, that's my wife and my dog and I'm leading Arnold Palmer, and naturally he was the American hero, and here was this little runt coming from South Africa that was gonna beat him, and it didn't seem right, and I understand that. And the more they screamed for them, the more I loved it. Most people go into a shell, feel sorry for themselves, get negative, and they lose. No, I was, I loved it. I said, the more they screamed for me, the more I'm gonna beat him, because I'd experienced difficulties in my life. And the greatest thing that can happen to a person is to experience difficulties in life, to have a bit of suffering. It gives me great pride when I've practiced hard. And to win in six decades, which I did this year, it, it's not a case of boasting, it's a case of a sense of pride and a sense of saying, well, I worked hard. I really worked, I had a work ethic and I had a dream and I had the passion to achieve it and I put the effort in and I did it.